This is Twit. Adobe Cold Fusion gets an emergency patch. Last Friday, March 1st, Adobe released an emergency patch for their Java-based Cold Fusion website development platform to close a vulnerability that was being actively exploited in the wild to execute arbitrary code. So yes, emergency. That's so if if hopefully again if you're using Cold Fusion, you are current with your email uh update notification list and this is already old news to you because this was a zero day that they became aware of the vulnerability allowed an attacker to bypass restrictions for uploading files so to take advantage of the, of it the website had to be configured to accept executable uploads so, okay, so that immediately, hopefully, that's disqualifies. A, that's a problem right there. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, there are places where, you know, you could imagine you you could be allowing executable uploads for some reason where they would be sequestered and then could not be executed. The flaw allows an HTTP request to execute that uploaded file. Oopsie. Wow. Wow. So not good, <laughs> really not good. Yeah. Yeah. All previous cold fusion versions on all platforms are vulnerable to this flaw. Uh, it's CVE 2019-7816. Um, I've got a link to their security advisory, which you just had on the screen a second ago. Adobe's summary said, Adobe has released a has released security updates for Cold Fusion versions 2018, 2016, and 11. anything. These updates resolve a critical vulnerability that could lead to arbitrary code execution in the context of the running Cold Fusion service. Adobe is aware of a report that that this CVE 2019-7816 has been exploited in the wild. Uh, it turns out that an independent consultant named Charlie Arhart discovered this when he found it being used against one of his Ooh, clients. Bad. Yeah. After figuring out what was going on, Charlie reported the flow to Adobe along with a proposed solution. Um, to their credit, and doubtless due to the bug's extreme severity affecting all appropriately configured cold fusion-based websites ever, Adobe had the fix ready within just a few days. So bravo for them, you know, getting on this immediately. Uh, Bleeping Computer interviewed Charlie, who they quoted saying, quote, getting folks to implement this fix is of critical importance. Uh, oh, and Charlie did not disclose any additional details of the attack since he didn't wish to help any attackers. However, he did tell Bleeping Computer that he believes that a skilled attacker will be able to connect the dots from Adobe Security Bulletin and find a way to exploit the glitch. So knowing knowing the, that the key is up uh, finding a site that a lot that will accept an executable upload there is now a way then to generate an http query of some sort which will execute that and so you know cold fusion has been around for a long time uh it's one of those things that refuses to die um like everything else that, that adobe except you know PDFs, we like those, but everything else, no. This was always uh, a problem with PHP: is that if you weren't careful about your directory permissions, you can oh. execute PHP code in a directory, yeah, arbitrary code, and boom, yep. yeah, yep. So, as an for an interim mitigation, Adobe wrote: Note, this attack requires the ability to upload executable code to a web accessible directory and then execute that code via an HTTP request, restricting requests 
to directories where uploaded files are stored will mitigate this attack. Uh, okay, just update Cold Fusion. Uh, maybe, you know, again, so if, if, if something prevents you from doing that, then, oh my goodness, yes, by all means, d uh, don't allow uh, d directories where files are uploaded to, uh, uh, to be web accessible by any means. You certainly shouldn't. I mean, that's, you know, web security 101. So again, Cold Fusion 2018, update two and earlier, 2016, update nine and earlier, and Cold Fusion 11, update 17 and earlier. Basically, that is all of Cold Fusion is susceptible. Um, so hopefully anybody, at, as current security really requires, anybody who is doing things with um, uh, web-based systems needs to make sure that, you know, we talked about this with Drupal last week, make sure that your email address that they have on file for you is correct and that alarms go off when they send you a security bulletin because right now the, you know, the, the, the exploit window is we are seeing how quickly uh, bad guys jump on these things.